ASMR. Do you ever wonder what exactly your guides think of you? I'm sure you do. And that, my friend, is what I plan to tell you. So just sit back, relax, and just hang out with me a little bit. Oh. intuitive message from your guides to me so that I can pass it to you. For pile one, Pile two. Pile two. Oops, way too many. Pile two. Perfect. Pile three. <laughs> I'll just take this one. Too many. Pile three. Pile three. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. So. If you don't know how a pick a card reading works, you're going to let your intuition be what guides you to pick whichever pile you feel the most called to. Once you select your pile, you can go into the description box below. And just click on your timestamp. And voila, that will be your reading. If more than one pile seems to catch your attention, then select as many as you'd like, all three if necessary. This is an intuitive exercise. while I read each of these cards. Actually, I'm going to wait to read them. Let's have you pick it off the pictures if possible. We have pile one.
pile too. the video. If it would be more helpful for you to take another minute. And when you're ready, just unpause, click on your timestamp, and I will see you at your pile. Love and light. See you soon. Did you think your screen wasn't unpausing? I know, stupid joke. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna set these aside. Prosperity, Archangel Ariel, your material needs are provided as you follow your intuition and manifest your dreams into reality. Super. This pile, you're working hard. You're working hard at your craft. somebody who is very capable of giving somebody a lashing verbally, but you're not going to say anything that's not true. Your truth speaks for the future. You don't like to carry burdens. Maybe you even hand them off to other people sometimes. But at the same time, when you do carry them, it's because you're so tired of being pessimistic that 
you give up waiting on other people to help save the day and you take the matter into your own hands. I feel like you don't have very much hope with family. You're not really looking for a big family, I don't feel. You're that way you come from a family misfortune. very independent. You don't need anybody. You're totally self-sufficient when you want to be. Keyword, when you want to be. You don't like starting over. You don't like new beginnings. You could be your hermit shell and do the traveling that you need to do. This could also be a Scorpio pile or possibly somebody dealing with Scorpio. So what's your advice for this pile? for this pile is to stop your resting mode and your indecisiveness. Release the shadows that are causing that indecisiveness. Release this masculine energy who causes you sorrow. If you are the masculine You have a passion and that passion is giving you anxiety and that is not okay. This pile is a manifesting pile. You're supposed to be fulfilled in every way for this pile because you have the ability. You have the ability. Prosperity, 
Archangel Ariel. Your material needs are provided as you follow your intuition and manifest your dreams into reality. Stop hesitating, pile one. It's your calling. Like and subscribe and comment below if it resonated. Check out my other videos and check out the other piles. Thank you for hanging out with me and I will see you guys next time. Hello, pile two. Passion. Trust and follow your renewal, your renewed passion in your love, life, and career. Trust and follow your renewed passion in your love, life, and your career. scared. This pile has major anxiety. Surrounded your ability to be a good student. Surrounding your image on social media maybe or in the public eye. Surrounding the newness of what you want to do versus how far along other people are. You feel burdened. Ah! Oh, sorry. That was so loud. I'm sorry. Listen. In energy, then you are so nurturing. At least your guides see you as somebody that should be and can be. And if you are masculine energy, then your guides want you to realize that you have an amazing feminine in your life. It's time that you show her that there's no reason that she needs to fear. But right now she's in fear. could be going through some rough times. It might be a time that you're taking a break from each other, or maybe you just feel a separation between the two of you. It's really putting a lot of fear in this feminine's heart. Whether you're the feminine or whether the feminine is somebody that you're dealing with. This could also be between your divine masculine and divine feminine. And you're having a split between the two because you're not dealing with the divine.
divine masculine. You're dealing with two divine feminines. One is a damaged and one is a nurturer. And that's not going to work. We need to have a divine feminine and a divine masculine to become one whole. something that you were supposed to walk away from and you didn't do it and your guides aren't very happy about that it's something in the past something that you didn't grow from how you should have Let's just say it's a good thing that you guys are here for this reading today. What's the advice that we can give this pile so that they can save the day in the last minute and not have to repeat the cycle of the guides? The Emperor. The Emperor. If this is a Divine Feminine watching, it's time that you treat your partner like the Emperor. And if this is the Divine Masculine watching, this is meant to be you. You're the Emperor. Establish your role and step into your power. truth, don't deceive your truth, know your truth, and seek your truth, and live your truth. Live your truth, Pile 2. You're meant to be stable. You're meant to be an emperor. You're meant to be the queen. You're meant to know your emotions and to hold them strongly. And you're meant to succeed. Stop letting these negative devils. going to read your card one more time, your angel card, before I close this out. Please like and share and subscribe once you're done. And check out my other videos or the other piles if you feel called to. All of them are timeless unless they say otherwise.
Archangel Haniel. Trust and follow your renewed passion in your love life and your career. Angel Azrael, you are a natural counselor, and many people benefit from your guidance and reassurance. This could also be a Scorpio pile or somebody dealing with a Scorpio. Who also deals with a lot of anxiety, nightmares maybe even, surrounding the judgment that happened, that they felt was unfair, or the judgment that could happen between them and their love, or past love. I feel like this is past life energy that is causing anxiety in this life. This could also be a pile who is meant to counsel and help shed judgment so that people are no longer judging each other, but seeing each other, so that they can make the necessary transitions when they have a rough time in their relationship, so that they can release these demons and release these anxieties. Like a marriage counselor, maybe. When people feel like they're hopeless, when they feel like they're unmotivated, this pilot's job, or it should be at least, <laughs> to show them why the disconnect sometimes is the best time to reconnect. Because all those people who weren't investing the right amount of time on what they wanted to do and their talents and their skills because of the relationship. You need somebody every once in a while that can come in and tell them, hey, you're screwing up. It's not worth it. It's a waste of time for now. Just let them grow. Let yourself heal. There's always tomorrow. wonderful traits about this 
pile. Mm. If you have a new idea that you want to start, whatever you're intuitively guided to, let that fire burn, baby. Let that fire burn, you're going to shine. Let your light glow. Trust your intuition. I feel like this pile is supposed to help people with commitment. Now what's the advice for this pile? It sounds like they've got their stuff. Ah. Be very, very upfront about your truths of your failures. Fear letting people know that you're still a student as well. Everybody is. You're always going to be a student of the universe. And trust yourself to be happy. Trust that. Trust this ability right here. You just have to dream it first, and think it first, and then trust it. Trust it. I'm going to read your card one more time for this part before I close it out. Archangel Azrael, you are a natural counselor and many people benefit from your guidance and your reassurance. Please like and subscribe. Check out my other videos if you ever feel called. They're all timeless unless it says otherwise. Meaning whenever you pick it and you click it, that'll be your message. So let's stick it. <laughs> I'm going to close this reading. And thank my guides, your guides. Anybody who came to bring a message of peace, love, and highest good. I would like to end this reading, actually, with a little bit of music. Just for those of you who still need a minute to relax. 